I am here today because my own higher education enabled me to reach for more, to reach beyond what I might have expected, let alone imagined, as a child. Today, while some question whether higher education can and should endure, I stand here to say it must and it will, and that Clark is ready to play a leading role in that future. On behalf of the entire board, let me say that we could not be prouder than at this moment when one of our own, a Clarkie, is being formally installed as president. Of course, as has been mentioned, David has been serving as our president for nearly two years now, which allows me to also say the board could not be more confident in the strength of our leadership than we are today. President Fithian and his new leadership team have included staff perspective in spaces and conversations that we have not been part of before, including the Sistook moment today. And we believe that our participation has shed light on the invaluable contribution staff make to the great work done at Clark. You have a president in David Fithian his, who found his North Star at the university he now leads. It doesn't get any better than that. Something I learned about you, President Fithian, is that when you care about something or someone, you do so in a non-judgmental and accepting way. I've learned from you, President Fithian, that that's what it truly means to be a Clarkie. I'm not calling on the President to start hosting Monday evening salons that go on until midnight. But I do hope, and I think I speak for the faculty on this point, that the President continues to strive to make Clark the kind of place where the so sort of intellectual ferment that so excited that student over a century ago bubbles up fast and furiously today. From Beacon Brightly to the Kilby Hammond development, to the Alumni and Student Engagement Center constructed across the street from the main campus. This institution has created real and physical change to the built environment of our city. As a soon-to-be Clark alumnus myself, I can safely say that this institute has gone above and beyond to provide opportunities for growth and success for its students. You know, it's a funny thing that happens when you get a group of Clarkies together. Um, there often is this recognition, not just of a common experience of having taken classes with the same professors or having lived in the same dorms or apartments, but this deeper sense of connection. And I'm going to draw a little bit from you know, what Rena and Aditi you know, just shared. You know, it, it, it's almost indefinable, but it's there. And I did talk to other people at the University of Chicago, and I said, is he like this on everything? Is he this detail-oriented, this conscious of other people's feelings, this um, focused on making certain that everything is perfect? And the answer was yes. In the name and on behalf of the trustees of Clark University, and in accordance with custom, I now invest you with all the powers and privileges of your great office. I intend to repay the tremendous gift of my education at Clark by doing everything I can as president to help Clark itself reach higher. And I hope you will agree with me that that is as relevant, necessary, and essential as ever. Thank you very much. Thank you.